After 8 years, a Tesla Model S refresh is finally here. But has anything changed? Let's take a look. The Model S was released in 2012. Since then, there have been progressive updates, mainly involving autopilot hardware and software. But the most drastic aesthetic update came in 2016, when the nose cone was finally updated. Just a few days ago, Tesla revealed the most drastic updates to date to the Model S and X. Most of the changes are on the interior of the car, with the most obvious change being the orientation of the main display from a vertical to a horizontal orientation. Not only is the display now horizontal, but it also has the capability to be tilted, which is a feature that has been lacking across all models until now. The yoke steering is definitely a good way to grab everyone's attention, but only time will tell if it will make it to production. They brought over some of the same minimalist design concepts we see in the Model 3 and Y. Gone are the traditional air vents and the door handles are also push button, as we have seen in the Model 3 and the Model Y. There was a brief period of time when Tesla had a rear center console option, but it was around only for a short period of time until this current refresh. However, having the center console in the rear does result in losing a center seat. Added is also a display for rear passengers, but the location is a perfect spot for an upset child to kick it in. It does have 10 teraflops of processing power, which should allow for gaming. The wireless charging dock looks awfully similar to the one found in new Model 3 and Model Y. Another notable new feature is active noise cancelling, which will surely make the quiet drive in an electric car even quieter. In regards to performance, as usual, the numbers are impressive. The long-range dual-motor all-wheel drive allows for 0-60 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds with 670 horsepower, while the Plaid trim does 0-60 to 60 in 1.9 seconds with 1,020 horsepower. The long-range version allows for 412 miles of range and a top speed of 155 miles per hour, while the Plaid allows for 390 miles of range and Plaid Plus for 520 or more miles, which most likely means that it also has a larger battery. Both the Plaid and Plaid Plus have an advertised top speed of 200 miles an hour. This refresh has been long overdue, and maybe it will be the saving grace for the Model S and X going forward. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.